Last year, Cadillac's ATS sedan was a nominee for our Car of the Year awards. This year, its big brother, the CTS, is taking its place and is our second nominee. As America's only true luxury brand, Cadillac isn't just back, but it's thriving. One look at the new CTS and you can tell immediately it is something different. It's got the usual Cadillac styling cues, but they've just taken it to a whole nother level. The outside is lower, longer, and just more mean looking, and I love what they've done with the front end. You're absolutely right. It looks great from the outside. Not only that, but this is also the second time that Cadillac's released a new vehicle that actually competes with Mercedes, BMW, and Audi. Of course, the first one is the ATS, but now this one got a little bit bigger and actually sits properly next to the 5 Series and the E-Class. And part of the reason it can compete with them has to do with the powertrains. In the base, there's a 2-liter turbo, just like those vehicles, which makes a healthy amount of horsepower. And then you can step up to a naturally aspirated V6, and then on top, instead of a V8 like everyone else uses, they have a twin turbo V6. But the kicker is it makes as much power as the V8s. And in the CTS V Sport, the car handles better than any of those vehicles. It's, it's almost mind blowing at how well a car this size and this heavy can handle. And that's part of the reason it handles so well is its weight. It is much lighter than those cars and the V Sport is rear wheel drive only. Now with the V Sport and a V6 rear wheel drive, you do get a new 8-speed automatic, which I would say rivals BMW's 8-speed automatic in terms of quickness and refinement, something you couldn't say of some old Cadillac transmissions. So chalk one in the wing column for Cadillac, I guess, is what I'm hearing you saying. But let's talk about one thing that GM just can't ever seem to get right, interiors. I mean, every time, they're always cheap. There's little things you find that you just can't really get used to. I, I don't know, I'm actually finding that this car doesn't have those issues. You know, you've got these nice carbon fiber inlays, a little bit of faux suede uh, throughout the cabin, and the seats are really comfortable up front. There is one gripe though, the rear seats are small within the class and the trunk space also just doesn't really stack up. But you know what, who cares? If you're in this seat behind the wheel, all those issues don't matter. Just get the V-Sport and have fun. Check back tomorrow for our third nominee in the 2014 autoguide.com Car of the Year Awards.